What is up guys, Mr. The Reverts here, welcome back to the channel, and The Haunting of Verdansk is set to come out tomorrow, October the 20th, and today we actually got a reveal trailer on what's actually going to be coming with this mid-season Halloween event. So today we're going to be looking at the content coming with this event, which features free in-game items, which can be found by looting crates all throughout Verdansk, a zombie royale LTM coming to Warzone, and so, so much more. Now, if you guys haven't seen the full trailer, please go ahead and watch it. A link can be found down below in the description. Honestly, that was probably one of the best trailers I've ever seen Call of Duty create. Definitely got me hyped for this mid-season event, but also looking at some of the content here we're going to be getting has me super duper excited because this is actually what an event should be within Call of Duty. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of the stuff here. Starting off with Warzone, guys, there is going to be a scavenger hunt type of trick-or-treat event. Um, basically, there's going to be a bunch of special loot boxes that can be found all throughout Verdansk. And by looting these boxes, you can actually earn free customization items such as blueprints, sprays, weapon charms, and more. However, fair warning though, some of these specially marked supply drop trick-or-treat crates do not actually contain anything except a jump scare. So be warned, you might get tricked instead of receiving a treat. So yeah, for you headphone users, keep your volume low because... Some of these jump scares have been data mined and I've watched a couple of them and they are definitely going to send you chills down your spine. Also guys, we're getting two iconic horror movie characters coming in the form of store bundles, which are Billy the Puppet from Saw and then Leatherface. I'll put the contents of each bundle on screen for you guys right now. And the design of each operator is just so authentic and true to the original classic movie. So very, very cool stuff here. And then another operator coming to this store is Dr. Karlov. And he even has a little bit of lore that surrounds him. Now, the description reads, Driven to a point of no return after countless failures in his laboratory deep inside the gulag, Dr. Karlov became obsessed with electricity and energy charge weaponry, testing it often in experiments on those who dare to wander near his hideout. Also, guys, expect the store to stock up on two other bundles, one of which features a new skin for ghosts called the Ghost Grim Reaper bundle, and then a Dia de los Muertos bundle for the Day of the Dead holidays coming up. As for the game modes, in select Warzone modes, Verdansk is now going to be set at night, and there's also going to be a bunch of other spooky, scary Easter eggs that occur throughout each game, one of which is a ventriloquist doll that will frequently appear on television sets. The poltergeist of a chainsaw wielding killer can be seen and heard all throughout the Kravnik farmland and a ghost train filled with the souls of those who lost their lives fighting in the gulag. So like I said, there's going to be a lot of other spooky Easter eggs spread out throughout Verdansk, kind of like the child laughter Easter egg that can be found near the stadium. I absolutely love this. It does fit the Halloween theme. And yeah, I bet you that a lot of other people are going to be tweeting about this and recording videos saying how it scared them like the child laughter did with me. Very, very cool stuff here, guys. And then now as for a new LTM, Zombie Royale, it says when the clock strikes midnight in Verdansk, it's time to bring out the undead. Operators can fight against and alongside powerful zombified creatures as part of Zombie Royale, a limited time mode where death is far from permanent. Instead of being sent to the gulag, dead operators will come back to life as a zombie. Although zombies cannot use weapons, they have supernatural abilities, increased speed, improved jumps, deadlier melee attacks, and thermal vision. Feeling zombified? Time to fight your way back into the land of the living. When a player is killed, they drop a syringe that shows up on the map. Collect two of these syringes as a zombie and you'll parachute back in with your loadout on the squad for a second chance. The last squad standing with a surviving operator wins, even if the rest of the squad has turned undead. Because this mode takes place at night, expect to find all the haunts that Verdansk has to offer under the bright moonlight, including those trick-or-treat boxes that are fully loaded up with scares for the whole squad. So guys, this LTM sounds absolutely amazing, incredibly fun. I just kind of hate that, you know, it's going to be a limited time mode, but, um, you know, for what it's worth, I'm going to try and play as much of this as I possibly can. Now, again, the zombies are going to have special abilities. I'm not really all too sure what they do, 
but you can actually kind of get a little glimpse of that in the reveal trailer for the haunting of redan so yeah very very cool stuff there and then as for the modern warfare content guys outside of the haunting of redansk owners will have two new modes to play and some halloween themed changes to explore inside a multiplayer one of those changes is a cosmetic feature that occurs when you hit three kills in a single life this pumpkin head that's going to be on screen for you guys right now is going to appear and it'll basically just put that on your character it's going to be on flames and it's going to let everybody know in the lobby that hey you're on a kill streak and watch out for me because i am you know popping off right now um, it's an intimidating sight to go along with a specialist bonus or a high end kill streak. So, definitely think that's going to be very, very sick. Now, as for other spooky cosmetic changes, this happens to be featured inside of specific game modes for domination. Instead of flags, there's going to be scarecrows on the flag points and then skulls instead of dog tags in kill confirmed and then of course other halloween themed visual effects on the multiplayer maps showing that halloween love and spirit to multiplayer even but now as for two new game modes one of which is snipers only which like the name suggests is going to be a game mode where you can only use snipers and then onslaughter which basically you and the squad have to fight to control a juggernaut suit that spawns somewhere on the map and you have to advance forward into a specific goal area to win so yeah, those are two new game modes coming to multiplayer, and the Haunting of Redansk event is going to be lasting until November the 3rd, so we only do have a couple days for this event, but still, it does have a lot of content packed inside. I'm super duper excited for this game mode, guys. Please tell me your thoughts about this down below in the comments. Also, feel free to come hang out with me in my Discord server, Twitch stream, and over on Twitter. Links can be found down below. I love you guys so, so much. Have a great rest of the day. Till next time, I'll see you guys later.